Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is December 8th and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. Check out the Thule fog. It is still in the valley areas here. This is very early this morning before the sun rose across the region. I'll play through here and you can see a pretty nice there across Southern California. You can see just maybe a touch of this patchy fog getting towards the coastline there. But as we go through the or late morning hours here and towards the afternoon, you can see that inversion is still just trapped here. And this is probably going to be the case until we can get some sort of a system rolling in here. And we'll take a look at the extended forecast as we go through the video today to see if we have any relief in sight because this has been very persistent and it looks like it's going to last for a little bit longer as well. And it's almost Christmas time. Great uh, Christmas gift right here, the Tempest Weather Station. I have two of these at my house that I test. You can uh, take that part off right there and mount this onto a fence post. There's no moving parts, all wireless, solar powered. Click on the link down below to save 10% off. Highly recommend that station. So if we take a look at the European, this is hot off the press of the 12Z model data. And this shading here is that Thule fog in the San Joaquin up into the Sacramento Valley areas there. And as we go through the morning hours, you see it return every single morning here, Monday, that was today. There's Tuesday. This is tomorrow morning right there. And then we go on into Wednesday morning. There it is again. Let's see. Is it going to be back here on Thursday morning? Yepers. There it is again. And on into Friday morning, we are just stuck in this never ending pattern. And with light winds here, we just cannot seem to break this cycle. But the European does want to show a system eventually sliding in here. You can see it as we go farther off into the forecast right there. You see that? There it goes, right at the end. I'm going to spoke too soon, but you can see how frontal system finally stirring things up. But that's over 300 hours off into the forecast there. So, yeah, some pretty persistent conditions here in the state of California. And hopefully things change up because the models aren't giving us much hope for the extended forecast, but eventually it has to end, right? Now, the dense fog advisory, sometimes you're just underneath that, that layer there where, you know, you have a few hundred uh, feet before you run to the cloud deck. But up against the foothill areas of some of the coastal range and the Sierra Nevada, you can run into some of that dense fog, even if that is the case. So careful if you're traveling back up into the higher terrain, you're going to run into some of that fog and the sudden drops in visibility. And then on some mornings, you know, this is going to be restricting visibility elsewhere also into the lower elevations. But if we scroll through here on the 100 meter wind speed, you can see we got some offshore flow ongoing. It's not particularly strong across the peninsula and the transverse range. Just some gusty winds out there. Nothing too extreme. Shouldn't be any damage from this round. And then we scroll through the next, you know, I mean, the next 200 hours or so, and still not that much that's going to stir things up in the valley areas. Then finally, this frontal system arrives, but again, way out there. You're talking about December, you know, 21st, 22nd. So something to watch, but man, now there's a ways out to get too excited about anything. And you can see what this does to apparent temperature. So I guess Southern California here, this is about the noon hour. Look at this nice mid and upper 70s out there for some locations. But look, when you get down, you go across the transverse range down the grapevine into the San Joaquin Valley. And my goodness, look at what it feels like out there. Bring your jackets, your heavy clothing out there because look at some of these temperatures as we go through the next few days. I mean, my goodness, we scroll off in towards the day tomorrow and look at these temperatures kind of trapped in the upper 40s there again. And that is because of that inversion still out there. Maybe some weakening of that inversion a little bit as we go towards the end of the week, but still relatively cool compared to what's going on across the central coast and Southern California desert areas, as you can see. So if, yeah, if you want to get out of that inversion, you guys know where to go now. So if we take a look at the artificial intelligence, what we're looking at here is 500 milliwires, about 18,000 feet up in the atmosphere. There is our ridge of high pressure that's really protecting us here. And then we scroll on in towards this upcoming week. Look at this ridge, just continue to deflect storms up into the Pacific Northwest, not giving California any break here as we go on in towards next week. Maybe something clipping Northern California there as we go on into the 190 hour time frame and going off in the extended, again, some ridging around deep Gulf of Alaska trough, not allowing us to get some of these systems. And they're not very progressive here. Not a good look there on the 18Z artificial intelligence, man, it almost makes you sick looking at it. And then you can kind of see that ridging here as well, just going to rebuild itself as you go through the extended forecast. We're up over 10 days out in the forecast and still not much of a sign of any changes. Things can still change quite quickly here but you know it, yeah it, it doesn't look good here for at least the next few days and uh, the 12z european artificial intelligence if i scroll all the way out through the 15 day time period that it covers you can see hardly any precipitation all across the state of california but also something good i almost forgot about this let's go ahead and do this let's go to drought 
monitor because we're going to check out the current data because I remember this. We have something very nice to show here for the state of California. I'm going to click on it. We are almost completely drought free except for extreme portions of Inyo County. Uh, there's a little bit of moderate drought, but look at this, just some abnormally dry out there, but the entire state of California, almost drought free. So yeah, you can definitely enjoy that. Now, taking a look here at total precipitation and inches on the ensemble mean a little bit better look here as we go at, you know, what, 200 hours out or so, it starts to get out there a little bit more and bring some more precipitation here into uh, the region. Uh, sorry, somebody blowing me up on my phone there. Uh, now, taking a look at the your, the GFS, so trying to find some kind of silver lining out there. The GFS also with not much precipitation except for maybe some of the northern zones out there. Still, that would be probably a week away or so. And then you can see we get some of this ensemble precipitation kind of moving down into central California. It, you know, we'll worry about that. We'll kind of watch this day by day as we go. Six to 10 day, here you go, the below normal signal there for precipitation. Look at that above normal signal. And again, this does not include some of the valley areas. You know, what's Climate Prediction Center? Could probably put something out there in the six to 10 day for that Thule fog, but they haven't this time. And again, the above normal conditions, eight to 14 days, something similar there as well. And hopefully we start to get some systems as we go through the second half of December. So check out the Patreon page if you like. Hopefully you guys are having a good day and I will catch you guys in the next forecast.